Do you remember what got you into filmmaking in the first place? For me, it was seeing Transformers for the first time as a 10 year old and Revenge of the Sith a few years before that. I was mesmerized by the potential to tell stories in these incredible, fantastic worlds that stimulated the imagination. If I had to bet, I guess it was something similar for you. A movie that you loved as a kid or a teenager that ignited your passion for film and visual storytelling. I have a second question for you. Are you doing what you set out to do as a filmmaker? Would the child inside you, the one that fell in love with movies, be proud to be your younger self? Or have you lost sight of why you got into film in the first place? I hope the answer to that last question is no. But I'd bet for a lot of you, it's yes. I know a lot of times it is for me. In this video, I want to help you change that answer by taking you on a journey that I've been on for the past several months. A journey to rediscover filmmaking and redefine what's possible with a camera. Cinema is being reborn, and what I've realized is that it's now in your hands, the individual creator, the low-budget filmmaker, the artist, to redefine what cinema is and how it's created. This rebirth is coming from the democratization of the technology which was once reserved for massive studio projects, primarily in the form of virtual production, but probably not the type of virtual production you're thinking of. What I'm talking about is a process that allows a filmmaker to create entire films in exotic and fantastic locations with no budget, no crew, and without leaving their living room. That sounds pretty impossible, but it's not because we just did it. Now, you might be asking, who is we? Well, in the summer of 2024, I teamed up with Joshua M. Kerr, a filmmaker, fellow YouTube creator, and virtual production expert. I've been a big fan of Joshua's channel for a while because he's all about making bigger films and inspiring and empowering indie filmmakers to make the films they've always dreamed of making but never were able to. In the spirit of that sentiment, we wanted to bring the incredible potential of virtual production to all filmmakers, not just those at the top budget levels of the industry. And so after some long discussions about not only how we can make this possible, but how we could actually show the process working, we decided to create an entire short film in the most restrictive conditions possible. No budget, a three-man crew, and an extremely small space, Josh's two by three meter spare bedroom. But we weren't just going to be making any short film. We wanted this to be big. So the film takes place in the catacombs of an Egyptian tomb infested with mummies. Easy. But how are we going to take our talent from Josh's spare bedroom and put them in an Egyptian tomb? That is, without spending thousands of dollars on equipment and thousands of hours on post-production. We found our answer with an incredible tool called Lightcraft Jet Set Cine. Jet Set turns the iPhone in your pocket into an incredibly precise 3D camera tracker, which not only allows you to track the physical position of the iPhone itself, but can also be calibrated and used to track the position of cinema cameras. It allows you to load a 3D model of your virtual environment into the app and creates a live composite of that virtual environment and your live action set so you can ensure everything is lining up properly during your shoot. This makes it easy to have characters interact with digital set pieces or even digital characters. But before we actually got into shooting this film, we needed to prepare and create previs or pre-visualization, perhaps the most important part of any virtual production. If you want to learn more about previs, I've got an entire video on it linked in the upper corner of this video. This process included creating our virtual environment placing metahumans in the scene for lighting and framing reference, creating our finalized lighting setups, and setting up each individual shot and camera angle for the film inside of the virtual scene. With our virtual environment then loaded into the Jet Set app, now came the challenging part, shooting. I didn't quite realize how small the space was until I actually stepped foot in it. And I'd be lying if I said I didn't have my doubts that shooting something like this was even possible in such a small area. But as I always say, if you're not in way over your head, you're not trying hard enough. Josh really surprised me with some of the green screen tricks that he had up his sleeve. He is truly a green screen and compositing wizard, and we managed to get minimal green spill on the talent, even though they were just a few feet away from the green screen at all times. Also, thanks to Josh's scientific repeatable light matching technique that he developed himself, we were able to achieve an exact match between the virtual lighting we created in our previs and the physical lighting on set. This is why, like I mentioned before, previs is probably the most important part of any virtual production. Without detailed lighting in our previs, we would have been guessing with the onset lighting and it would have been a nightmare to composite, not to mention physically inaccurate. This was the key piece that's missing from so many green screen and virtual production shoots. We captured the 3D camera tracking data for our cinema camera using the Jet Set app and it worked great. After four days of shooting, we had all of our shots completed and it was time to move into post-production. In post-production, we used the AutoShot software that comes with Jet Set to transfer all of the camera tracking data as well as the 
the live action footage that goes with each take into Unreal Engine. Jet Set stores the position data of the virtual camera within the environment, so everything comes in lined up nicely, which saves a ton of time. And then it was time for compositing. Josh opted to use DaVinci Resolve Fusion for compositing because one, it's free, and two, it's got an incredible suite of editing, color grading, compositing, and audio capabilities. Josh worked his magic with some really impressive keying and compositing techniques, which are really integral in bringing the real world and the virtual world together into a seamless final image. It was really amazing to see this entire film come together from the ground up, from the concept to creating the virtual environment, pre-visualization, shooting, and really pulling it all together in post-production. Now, this is just a very broad overview as the entire process is far too lengthy and detailed to cover in a YouTube video, but that's why we created a comprehensive course which covers every step of this process from start to finish, plus tons of bonuses like creating explosions and destruction, color management, character animation, in-depth compositing tutorials, and much more. And what I really love about this course is that you get to see us actually go through the entire process as we bring this entire film to life using the exact techniques that we teach in the course. Now, we realize there's still a slight barrier to entry. Jet Set Cine, which is an integral part of this process, is not free. However, to make this form of virtual production accessible to anyone, we've secured an exclusive three-month trial of Jet Set Cine worth $240, 100% free for anyone who enrolls in the course. That's in addition to several other incredible discounts and free trials from Rococo, the Pixel Lab, Dehancer, and more. And for the first 500 students to enroll, we're also offering the course at a 50% off discount. So click the link in the description to grab your spot as quick as you can before they fill up, because they are going fast. Now, what I want to leave you with in this video is my biggest takeaway from this entire insane journey that we've been on for the last few months. It's time to stop waiting for permission to make your films, because there's really no excuse anymore. These tools are available to you and they're a lot more accessible than you think. All it takes is a little bit of courage to write your film, a little bit of drive to learn these techniques, and a lot of passion to make that film you've always wanted to make. Whether you use these techniques or not, I hope that this video inspired you even a little bit to get out there and make those dream films a reality. I really hope that you'll join us in taking back the film industry and making that kid deep down inside of you proud. As always, feel free to comment below with any questions. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one one.